Hey guys, welcome back for an episode of good old Rugrats Castle Capers. We've got four diapers left. I couldn't actually give myself any more lives. We're gonna be going to the Arabian Nights because why not? Ali Baby and the Four Fleas. Angelica, Queen of the Genies, took my screwdriver he here to where he here to this land. She probably got a friend who wants to live in it, but this time Queen Angelica's not going to know what bitter. Cause us babies is real us babies is ready and we got a flying rug. I guess the rugs at my house must have been talking been taking nappies. What? Oh nappies as in like sleep, not the UK term nappies as in diapers. Cause they don't even walk. Let's get my screwdriver so we can escape from this place. And we can find Tommy or Phil. So I do remember this level quite a bit. This is the only level as a kid I could actually beat. I've oh, got five diapers, this is not going to be good. Also, there's a bit of delay on the flying. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. So we're in some kind of like Arabian Nights. Um, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, so today has actually been a really strange day for, for me, and I'm going to get into that story in a little bit. Um, well, pretty much I was. I decided to go out to Ikea with my friends, my homies, you know, my my bros. I'm trying to be a bit more careful here, just because like, I am really weak here. And we decided to go drive in as you do to Ikea, which isn't too far. And I was on my way, you know, the guys were like, oh, we're outside your flat. Come on, meet us. We all go in one car just to, oh god, just to save petrol and stuff. I, I, I think that makes total sense, to be honest. Again, by the way, there is a song. Oh, Tommy's there. Oh, wow. Uh, and, okay, we've got no, like, weapon here, which sucks. Uh, so we're driving around, as you do. And, oh god, genie, genie, genie. Oh, my god, the hitbox is pretty good here. And uh, before I even got to the car, I said I was driving around there. Great, totally wrong. Uh, oh god, uh, before we even got to the car, I decided to walk over and I, as guys we do stupid stuff and if you don't know we're really into cars, we're really into driving and stuff and uh, I, I was going to dive into the car, oh yes, oh, 10 more hits, that's fantastic, I uh, was going to drive and and uh, I was going to dive in the car and be like guys drive, 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 like, like, like um, it's like you, you know when you see a bank job or something like on a, a game or like GTA or something, it was going to be something like that and uh, I said that, I wasn't even in the car and the car ran over my foot and it was painful I'm not gonna deny that I got really lucky if you are wondering my my foot is it's fine and it's hurting don't get me wrong it is hurting it's more of just I feel like my muscles been pulled but yeah I got I, I, I my friend run over my foot today it wasn't like a full-on like oh it's like you need to go to hospital you know like my foot was hurting and I couldn't walk for like a good 20 minutes after it happened um, but it was one of those things IKEA is a bit of a drive anyway so uh, it's kind of like we, we had to go for a drive anyway, and I kind of could have my foot then. And it did hurt, don't get me wrong, it did hurt. And now it's a running joke that my friend uh, has run over my foot. So that's interesting. It's been a really weird day for that reason. Like, how often does your friend, like, run over your foot? It, it, it's it's never happened before. And, oh, a secret area, fine by me. And it's just one of those things, like, when um when it happened, I was, like, in so much pain. It was more like, I think it was more of a, oh, another 10 more diapers there. I feel like we are taking it a bit more slow here. It was one of those things I was really nervous because I was like, oh balls, I've I've sprained my ankle here. I, I've I'm gonna have to go to hospital. Because if you don't know, I hate hospitals. Not because um, I'm scared of them or anything. It's just they're they're just annoying. Like they are really annoying in the UK. Like you go to a hospital and you're there for hours. Like you are literally there for hours. And it's just one of those things. Like it's how the UK works. You got free healthcare and stuff. But it's just annoying. And I kind of didn't actually want to have to deal with that. Look, luckily my friends were there. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like there is exactly 100 um, things. A bit weird. Uh, it was one of those things, I wasn't really bothered that like my friend ran over my foot. It was more of just like the, the shock, like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. Because like, what the, I don't even know where we are here. Like, we're in some kind of bushes. Um, I was hoping there would be a sequel there. And, oh god, ooh, oh my god, we almost hit that. Then, okay, nice and slow, nice and slow. And it was just one of those things, by the way, this, can, this actually really does control like really bad here. I don't like it. Uh, so I, I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to go to hospital and stuff, because like, like, I went to the hospital a few months back, because I, I get really bad skin, like, my skin just gets inflamed, and then I have to go to the hospital to actually get some, this is a secret area? Okay, um, I have to go and get some medication from the hospital to actually take down the swelling, if you don't know, um, I suffer with um, really bad acne, and it's only just started in the last two or three years, and it actually creates a lot of, um, like, growth on my face, and it, it, it sounds really disgusting, but it's really not, it's just like, my face becomes infected and I just need to go and get some steroids to actually calm it down, which isn't too bad, it's just, like, it's annoying when you've got, like, a meeting or something and it happens and you're just like, oh, I've got, I've got to go to a meeting like this, you know? 
And I know a lot of people suffer, suffer with it, so it's not like, it's not just me who is, is the main person here. Um, but yeah, like, I was in the hospital there and I was there for like four hours. And it's just, I, I respect the UK for having like free healthcare, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I've got better things to do in my time, I'd much rather put up with it. Ooh, what? So, uh, does this do damage to us? I'm guessing it does. But is there a secret up here? No. So I'm trying to keep my eyes open for secrets as much as possible, so... Yeah, like, it's, it's weird, like, my leg's still hurting right now, I'm actually on my PC and stuff, but... I've been out all day, I've been chilling with my friends and stuff, but... Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's been really interesting, like, how often do, do, does someone get hit by, a, like, get run over? I'm not gonna say hit by a car, because I wasn't really hit by a car, it was my own fault. And, uh... And yeah, you, uh... You don't really have to go to hospital or anything, it's gotta be pretty rare. I've had, like, a few close calls in the past where, when I was younger, where... I almost got hit by a car by not looking and stuff, but this is just one of those things where, yeah, I didn't expect my friend to set off when I said drive, and he did, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna, it's a funny story, you know, and what I really think really hurt my leg was more of the, um, oh, it does do damage to us, it was more of the actual, like, shock of um, my leg tensing up from it, okay, ooh, more, okay, I'm loving the amount of diapers in this level, like, congrats to the game for actually giving me this many, okay, it's keeping me, it's keeping me alive, it really is, okay, ooh, god, I was hoping there wouldn't be another one. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Ooh. Really? They're going to give me all three, like, Rugrats in one? Okay, fine with me. Uh, I, I totally got him then. I love how I took two hits on my diapers then. Okay, that genie seems to have some really good... Tr like, it seems to be getting in my way constantly. Okay, I'm just going to sneak past him. Okay. And, yeah, it was just so weird. Like, it, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Because I know, like, this guy wasn't really going that fast. He was going, like, around 3 4 mile an hour when he, when he run me over. And, uh... Yeah, it was very strange. Okay, let's go into here. We've got 22 left, but this should be the boss. I think I remember how it beats boss. You just have to keep circling around and let her moths hit her. Like, as you can see, we do we uh, do take damage when we hit her. Okay, I'm trying to play this a bit more safe. Okay. It just reminds me a lot like Aladdin, more than anything here. I don't know if we just have to keep dodging, or... I, th I feel like it's going to be very dodging-based. Uh, so, we'll, we'll just keep circling around her. This is the only level I, I could be as a kid, so I don't know if it's something I'm missing here, but I'm just going to keep circling around and see what actually happens here. Okay, ooh, more moths, more moths, e -e -e. So we can't actually run into it in this level, which means we, 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 we're just going to have to keep dodging. And I remember as a kid, this used to always astound me, like, ooh, what am I going to do? Just keep dodging, just keep dodging. So, so you might have noticed that all the characters we encounter in this game, it's been a lot of Tommy and a lot of Dill and Phil. Depending on which character you pick and which levels you do, de determines which Rugrats you actually see in the actual game. For example, we've seen a lot of... Um, Tommy and stuff because we went like Angus into Tommy route or something. I don't really know much about this game or how it works. All I know is it was a game I played as a kid and I, I never beat. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. If you think about it, it really is. Okay, where is Angelica gone? Where's she gone? Okay, she, she's still alive then. She is still alive. Uh, I feel like she's just going around in circles in the middle. Okay, come, come, come on. You keep doing your thing and I'll keep doing mine. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay. The, the moths seem to definitely do damage to me. So that's not good. So see, yeah, that's been my day so far. It hasn't really been that exciting, but it, it's been interesting more than anything. I did buy a photo frame for my key if you are wondering, and turns out my photos doesn't fit into it. So it's like, oh, I just bought some photos. I'm probably gonna cut them down. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm gonna probably do a bit of like handmade chopping on a guillotine just to um, kind of like shorten those images. Ooh, is that literally it? Just keep dodging, I guess. So we get the screwdriver. Boom, bam. We only found two of the four secrets. We did get a lot of diapers though, so that's going to make it a bit more better. I have no idea what leapfrogs are. Oh, is that the thing where you get on their shoulders? Maybe, maybe. Okay. And there's our code if you want to use it. And I feel like the last level is um, Jack and the Beanstalk. But I'm going to quickly save before I actually go in here just so progress, you know. So yeah, let's go into Jack and the Beanstalk. Beanstalk, babies. Queen Angelica hided my super thing somewhere in this giant palace or place even. With a giant vegable growing out of the ground. We got to find some super thing so we can get some out of here. So super thing I'm pretty sure is like the French version of reptile. I could be wrong. I probably am. Look for fruit, fruity snacks, diapers and other stuff. That'll help us. If, if you need any of my friends, just walk by them and they'll come along to help too. Come on, let's go. Rescue super thing. Okay, I'm ready. And we can find... Bill and Lil here, and this is Jack and the Beanstalk, and we actually get bananas. So, yeah, it's, it's, this is one of the, um, this actually was on the box out of the game from what I remember, so it's pretty cool to play this game. I'm shocked how many Rugrats games actually did make, like, they made a lot, like, so Thumbelina there, okay, we did just take a dumb head there, oh, uh, some free diapers, thank you very much, 
I I'm kind of glad I actually came over here. I know I just like lost a few diapers here and there. Like we lost like three or four or whatever. So worth it just to get like an increase of seven because you do burn through diapers so goddamn fast in this. And uh, it is a short game to get me wrong. Well, I can understand like with the amount of like damage you take, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Okay. Oh, oh god. Okay, we've got some more ban bananas. Bananas. I'm pretty sure in this you just need to climb the beanstalk and actually go any way possible. Just keep climbing. So, uh, so yeah, just keep going up. You know, the only way is up. Oh balls. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing we have to go. Oh, there's actually a thing over there. Okay. Okay. Can't wait for it to spawn. Is it gonna spawn back in? Yes, it is. Okay, jump. Come on, jump, jump. Ah, we made it. We made it. Oh, secret. Is this is really is it like there's so many secret. Oh my god, 30 bananas. Oh wow, this close to like the start and there's a secret area. Okay. And also, I did not time that there. That was so lucky. Wow, okay. Uh, I feel like I'm getting very lucky. From what I remember, this is probably one of the more annoying levels. I know the clock tower one we did earlier on was pretty goddamn an annoying. Since it was just more of just... Oh, balls, man. I really wish the enemies died. Like, it, just, it would just make it so much easier just to manage. Like, the enemies are just so powerful. It's ridiculous. Okay, I want to go up there. I don't want to waste the time. What happens if we throw bananas? Bananas don't even affect the flies. Like, oh, like look at that. How... <laughs> How could we do that without taking a hit? I don't know. Um, okay, let's jump. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Yes, yes. Okay, jump up. Okay, I am looking for Tommy and... Um, and not Tommy, uh, Phil and Lil, because I feel like they would help us out big time, because you can do the leapfrog thing, which I still haven't used yet in the actual levels. Oh, God. Okay. As you can see, I probably will fall here a lot, which sucks, and I probably will take a lot of damage on the flies, because the flies just suck. I'm guessing we could just li literally just run straight to the top if we really wanted to, but I kind of want to do a bit of exploration, see if we can find them. For God's sake, man. For God's sake, oh, okay, land. Okay, this this is looking pretty good. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, we can jump on mushrooms. That's cool. That is cool. I feel like this game is. We're not even gonna. We're not, we're not gonna risk it with bananas, by the way. It's really not worth jumping down there just for 10 bananas, but. I feel like this level, this game is done very well. Ooh, more diapers, thank you very much. It's gonna help us out. Okay, can we keep going? We can. Okay, I'm hoping Tommy or. Not, how are you saying Tommy? Phil or Lilo is actually in here. Ooh, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. I didn't actually think this was going to be the way to go, but... Okay, so we're on, we're on level 2 now. Okay, uh, I don't think I've actually ever been in here. Okay, we're going downstairs. It's kind of in, like, the um, the three little bears, you know? The uh, the, the baby, the mama, and the dad bear. Oh, okay, of course we need, like, leapfrog to get up there, and we probably did miss one right at the top, but it's fine. Okay, we're, we're getting a few of the dummies, even there. I know they're called binkies, or whatever you want to call them, but... It's weird how, like... Oh, it, it is, like, the three little bears, isn't it? Like... Oh no, there's, there's like loads of them now. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird how like England and America are so similar, but then they're so different like in how they pronounce words and stuff. I, I know it sounds really stupid and stuff because it's obvious it, that's the case, but like it is ridiculous how like one thing can mean something in England and then it means a totally different thing in America. Like, I love how like our cultures... Can we actually even get up there? No. Okay, we'll probably need to leave throw off someone there. I just love the fact like our cultures are, are so similar and yet so different. It just shows like diversity in the world. And okay, just keep keep going left. It's just um, it's nice to actually see like how we can learn from each other. And we can actually learn their terminology and how that country operates. You know, it's it's really nice. You know, especially like a share of knowledge and stuff. And yeah, it's, it sounds really stupid, like, but I really respect that kind of thing. You know, ooh, balloon. Ta ooh, we're in a bathroom now. Okay, can't come to the bath. Oh, is this really? What? Um, do we just jump down? Oh, are we really back? Oh, we're not. Where the hell are we? I was. I have. I'm so confused right now where we are. Like, um, okay, okay. I'm guessing we've literally just come out of the other side. Okay. Oh my God, there's there's Angelica. Okay. So it looks like we're probably gonna have to get get our way to the top with Angelica jumping at us. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Just, just keep running. Just keep running. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, man. Oh, okay. I feel like Angelica can't really do damage to us in this, but the, the flies can. I feel like Angelica's going to really annoy I feel like she, she's going to have the ability to push us off. Okay, just keep running, just keep running. Okay. This, this this has been a pretty short level, to be honest, if you think about it. It's been a really short level, and we've got quite a few diapers. I know there's one level left after this, and it's going to be the final one, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know, but there we go. We've got um, thing is super thing. It's kind of like her equivalent of reptile, you know? But yeah, there we go. We've actually completed that level, and there's our password. But yes, I think it's about time to end off the episode. So if you this video, please go like. I'll be greatly appreciated. Next time, we're going to go into Castle Reptar as Kimmy. I'll see you guys then. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed my little rant about me getting my leg trapped in a car. See you guys later. Take care. <laughs>